It's been two weeks since I last made a video about Soul Ash 2 and the recent controversy that's been going around it. Now, if you haven't seen that video, let me give you a little bit of a TLDR on what's going on. Artur Smiarovsky. I know I butchered that name, but he's a solo developer on the game Soul Ash 2, who recently updated the game to add marriage and heritage. Part of the game is that you can have multiple characters to play as your character might age or might die or whatever. So you can have different characters to play. So having a family means you could play as your children and you could keep going on generation after generation. A purely gameplay wise update. Now, after this update, he was actually asked by someone in the community if he would ever add same sex marriage to which he politely replied that it wasn't really on his radar because he had other updates planned. In the near future, it was definitely not going to happen. And that is when the floodgates opened. Hate left, right, and center going on on different platforms all aimed towards Arthur. They tried to boycott him by review bombing his game on Steam, but that seemed to have failed. And they also went on Twitter and Reddit to try and hate on what he has made and try to downvote or whatever you can do to dislike a certain thing that he would post. Literally anything, replies, this and that, as well as putting wrong information in front of others. Others would believe it and they'd be like, oh, this guy seems a bit weird, this archer. Now, if you want the full detailed video, I'll put it up here or, or here. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'll put it up and you can check out. Uh, I also have a, an exclusive little interview with Arthur where I ask him a few questions so you can actually see how the situation developed. Now, now, if you know the story, it's actually had a few developments and I have one remark to make about the previous video. So let's me get into that first. Mainly the problem that some people had with my video or had with Arthur and made them side against him. It was that he was comparing LGBT community to national socialists in a tweet. Now I'm going to read the tweet for you. My grandparents survived the National Socialists. My parents endured communism. I had to live through religious oppression since the age of 10. And now some spoiled brats think they'll I'll bend my knee to their rainbow flag or else they'll type some words. I already have a flag I'm proud of. Now don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you're stupid or whatever for not understanding what this means or for thinking that he might be actually comparing the LGBT community with National Socialists. However, I do feel like this is more of a message where he's talking about generations of his family facing and feeling oppression throughout the years. And now that he persevered through this oppression, he's not going to bend the knee to people who feel like not having same sex marriage in a small indie game is a bad thing. Again, this is something that I don't really see people having a problem with. But of course, it's Twitter. People are going to hate on everything. Now, that out of the way, let's look at the situation has evolved because like I said, it's been two weeks that have passed. And with most of these controversies, it takes like a very small amount of time and it's just poof, it's gone. Nobody talks about it anymore. And I actually did think that two weeks later, this would be the case. But throughout these weeks, Arthur has actually made tweet after tweet after tweet where he talks about not backing down. Uh, he shows multiple cases of actually getting hate either to a review that's bad or a tweet or something on Reddit. He talks about how he can't even post anything on Reddit without getting absolutely downvoted like it's normal in this case it's a very weird situation he actually did make a tweet yesterday and that's the one that stands out to me the most and i wanted to talk about it in this video and it's this in the last three weeks i've been called every evil word these rainbow extremists know some people spread their lies to millions and still have not retracted any false statements it went so far and wide that i had to explain it to my mother and siblings i'm truly glad at least one press outlet in poland took the time to examine and present the whole picture impartially because i couldn't combat reddit's lies now the same people writing from alt accounts on Twitter think the word grifter will be the one that puts the fear of speaking back into my mind. They still haven't learned anything. I'm already cured of political correctness. They already use the worst words. I will continue to speak my mind whenever I feel like it, and I still develop games these people can't even dream of attempting. It's no problem at all. Now, I can agree with you that this is a bit of an angry response to, I guess, the hate that he's been getting. And that's what I think seems very reasonable as well. Um, like I said, it's been uh, a week in the works when I first made my first video. So now this has been three weeks. So we're already at like 21 days, more than 20 days where this guy is just on Twitter, on Reddit, probably on YouTube, Steam. He just gets this braiding of hate. As a small content creator, I've also had my 
deserve a fair share of hate and i can understand that sometimes it gets a bit to you right you get a bit angry you get a bit sad you get a bit this or that now if you've seen my first video you know that he isn't demotivated and he wants to keep going and this is beautiful because i do feel like that is what needs to happen but when we look at what he see, says in this tweet and that i think is the most important part of this tweet it went so far and wide that i had to explain it to my mother and siblings this guy's personal life is being hit with false accusations of him being a neo-national socialist or other bad words that they can find that i'm not going to put in this video because i'll get demonetized like you you can hate or love whoever you want like it doesn't really matter but if you think this is normal you are out out of your mind like this guy's personal life should not have been affected whatsoever and i also feel like you know people always pick and choose what they actually want to believe what they actually want to be like the right thing to do because if you really did care about not helping well in your eyes neo-national socialists are you also against child labor because that is pretty much where most clothes come from and you can accept that fact or you can try to not buy from those stores or those brands but you probably don't do that which is why you have no right to go and pick whatever fight you think is good or is bad this isn't a cho choice either you let it slide and you'll accept it for what it is or you fight every single injustice but good luck with that because that's never going to work that has been my opinion on the situation i don't want to drag it out too long i already talked a lot about it in the first video but i do want to know what you guys think so leave your opinions down in the comments below and while you're down there if you like gaming commentary just like this subscribe to the channel and i'll give you more and more each and every time now if you did like this video i have another video right up your alley about dustborn here and it's shady developers doing some weird stuff so why not check it out click on the video and i'll see you there